we're working with a tech wrap a color changing vinyl today this cup was so much fun to make super simple and the vinyl has a huge impact on the final product hi I'm Brenda here today with Creative Fabrica and along with making this cute little cup we're also going to go over my five favorite tips and tricks for silhouette users. There are more scattered along throughout the entire video so make sure you watch to the end. If you've been enjoying all of the tutorials coming out from Creative Fabrica lately you are going to want to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget the notification bell. For today's project I'm going to be using this tumbler. I just snagged it from Walmart. I'll be cutting the design out of tech wrap vinyl. The pink is color changing so that'll be fun. We have some transfer tape. I have the scraper and cup cradle set. Weeding tool and measuring tape. First helpful hint for the day is to always start with your page setup. If you have all of this information correct in the beginning, the rest of the project is going to go much easier. If you own multiple machines, make sure you have the one that you are using selected. I will be using the Cameo 5 today. Choose your feed type. You can go with manual or the auto sheet feeder. I'm going to stick with auto manual today. You can select your media size here as well. I will be using a 12 by 12 sheet for one of the layers and I will be using a smaller size for the other, but we're just going to stick with 12 by 12 here. If you decide to change your media size, you can use it as a template for the area that you have to work with. If this is the size of your vinyl, you know you need to stay within the red cut border with your design. If you're doing a print and cut project, you would turn on your print border, but we are not. We do have our cut border showing and that is the red line here. But you always want to start with the page setup panel. The next helpful hint is for silhouette users that are running the basic or standard edition. This is the free version of Silhouette Studio. When you're running the basic edition, you cannot import SVG files. You can use silhouette files that will come in with cut lines or you can use DFX files, which we will be using today. Creative Fabrica has a ton of different cut files that do offer the DFX. You want to take a look for the DFX files if you're running standard edition. I've already downloaded this file, so let's go back to Silhouette Studio, go up to File, down to Merge, and grab the DFX of this file. We can double click and that will bring it onto the map. This is going to look a little bit different than the SVG file, but I'm going to show you how to work with this. There are two different sizes here and we're going to be using this one. So we can select all of this, right click and delete that. Now you have two different versions of the same thing. This one is all put together. This one has the cows separated from the cow print. We are going to be working with these two today, so I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Right click and delete. Now for tip number three, the DFX files typically come in looking like this. This is separate layers here. You can click on these parts and drag them away and that's not what we're going for. So let's use our undo button to put them right back and we are going to select all of these different pieces we're going to right click and make a compound path. When you make a compound path, it takes all of the layers and merges them into one. It creates the holes in the cut visually so we can get a better idea of what our file is going to look like. Now, if we had just grouped all of these pieces together and sent it to cut, we would end up with the same result, but this way makes more sense to us visually. Now for this other layer here, we can either group this together or make a compound path. Because none of the pieces are overlapping, it doesn't matter which one you choose. 
Now at this point, I'm going to move on to tip number four. This involves measurements, and if you are anything like me, you have a hard time remembering the numbers sometimes. So we are going to use the sticky note function. That's this icon right here. It says draw a note. Go ahead and click on that, and then click off on your page, and it will bring up the sticky note for you. And you can put all kinds of information on this. This file was called Cute Cow Libby Glass Beer Can Wrap SVG. And the measurements on my tumbler are 8.75 by 6. And you can put whatever information you'd like on these sticky notes. If I were adding text to this, I would jot down my font. You can add the hex color of this pink in case you want to match it to something later. Whatever information you will need in the future about this file, you can put right on these sticky notes. And if you save this file as a silhouette file, when you open it back up, this information will be right here for you. Now let's go ahead and resize our design. I want to set the width at 8.75 and now we can head up to our send panel now we're going to look at tip number five and this is cut by fill color when you are in the simple cut tab all of the lines light up in red and everything will cut at once since we have two different colors to be cut out that's not going to work for us that's when you cut by fill you can see each of the colors are here our cows are lit up in black. Our cow print is lit up in pink. Now, if we were to run it through like this, it would cut just like the simple tab. Everything is lit up, so everything will cut. You have a couple of different options here. You can keep the black layer checked and uncheck the pink. Then the black will cut. You'll unload your mat, set the pink vinyl on the mat, and then uncheck the black, check the pink, and then send it through again. Or you can keep both of them checked and add a pause. Now what this is going to do is it's going to cut out the black layer and then your machine is going to stop. Once the machine has stopped, you can unload the mat, put the pink vinyl on the mat, and then come down and click on send. Either option is fine. Now, when you cut by fill, you can also switch your materials up. I'll be cutting this out of TechWrap vinyl today, and they sent a little information card with the vinyl, and it says that I need to set my blade depth to three, my force to 25 to 30, and leave my speed at five. So now I have my settings right for the black layer. We need to click on the pink layer and this square here will turn pink so you know which settings you're adjusting. And you can switch these up if you're using a different vinyl type or a different material type altogether. Now that we have our send panel all set up, we can go ahead and get our mat loaded and send this through to cut. We're going to send the black layer through first. The machine will cut the vinyl, then it's going to pause. I will check the cut to make sure that it cut out nicely, and then I will unload that mat, load the pink vinyl, and press resume in the software. Weeding was going really well until I got to the nose and mouth area. The little bits and pieces wanted to pull up with the bigger part that I needed to weed out. So after I got through the first cow, I switched over to reverse weeding. That helped to keep all of the little pieces intact and things went much smoother from there on out. With reverse weeding, you apply your transfer tape to the whole design so that everything sticks to the transfer tape. Then you're going to flip it over, remove the backing, and then work on getting out the pieces that you don't need. Let's cover this with a piece of parchment paper. This is going to keep it dust free while we work on the pink layer, but also it's going to help us get it transferred to the cup in just a minute. The color changing vinyl was a little bit more difficult to weed, but we are almost there. 
We're going to wipe down our cup with some alcohol. That's going to help the vinyl stick better and last longer. After that, we need to make sure that our design is lined up well, and you can use the grid on the transfer tape to help with this. I left a little bit of the adhesive on the transfer tape exposed so that I could tack that down to the cup once I had it in place. Now I can take the parchment paper and remove that as I go along and smooth the little cows down on the cup. Let's remove the transfer tape and then we can repeat all of this with the pink layer. The parchment paper is somewhat see-through and that makes it super easy to line up the second layer here. You can see exactly where the cows need to be and then we'll just stick down the transfer tape to the cup and then wrap the pink layer around. I thought that this cup was straight, but it is a little bit tapered. So my seam did not end up perfect, but it was really close. I ended up trimming off just a little bit of the edge and it worked out, but it's super cute in the end anyway. 